Tay Jack from Idlewood in Los Santos. Yeah. Yo, what's up, guys? It's World Club here. We're gonna start in just a few minutes, baby. Just a few minutes. Just a few minutes. About three minutes. Hey, I don't write anything bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why. Don't you guys uh, chill and just listen to the radio? I'll get started in just a few minutes. Stop. Why would you ride a bull? Go find a big girl. They, 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 they can use the attention, and and that's all we have time for. Okay. Hey, I'm Derek Zachary. Till next time. Play safe, people. Go, baby. Go, team. You're listening to WCTR, or maybe you aren't. Maybe you became so offended that the tight end zone give me has a no female calls we'll that you change stations. I know I would, and have. I'm not here anymore. If you crave news, WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you what's up? What's up? What's up? The grocery store, then you sick offense. God, I just don't understand people. You go to hell. Well, screw you too, mom. <laughs> See if you're ever on the show again. Next call. Oh, nobody's yeah, out. Oh, okay. Nice. I'm not ready yet, anyway. I want to plant one on my ex-wife's lawn. It's called a morphophallus titanium. <laughs> And people were behaving like they ought to good. There lived a little boy who was misled by another little boy, and this is what he said. Me and you tonight, we're gonna make some cash. Robbing old folks. Always thought this song was funny. They did the job, money came with ease. But one couldn't stop, it's like he had a disease. He robbed another Stick and another, and my sister and a brother. Tried to rob a man who was a GT undercover. The cop grabbed his army, started acting erratic. He said, Keep still, boy, no need to start it. Punched him in his belly and he gave him a slap. Ooh, what a day, man. Ooh. The kid pulled out a gun, he said, Still alive. That's a good thing, baby. That's a good thing. Still alive. You can't get any more blessed than that. Okay. Let me see, I got CJ, I got something else here, okay. Alright, no point in waiting on everybody. What's this home be want? I see what this homie wants. Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Uh, okay. I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. All right. All right, let's get down, baby. Let's get down. Five, five, five. We tip. I'm surprised I'm even streaming today. Carl, how San Fierro? It's fucked up. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know, the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give Wee Tip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck if he kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. That's right. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? He's at the Van Kamp Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Cracks me up the way he talks. All right, let's grab that DA real quick. T take care of business. Yo, Aki, what's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? Oh, I got a gun. Okay, I thought I didn't have a gun. Summer and late. It's a craze. Been a crazy day. I mean, I'm technically supposed to be off, but I'll just take off next Sunday. No biggie. I'll take off next Sunday. <sighs> uh, okay, never mind. I was thinking about something else. They had to go to the movies and do other stuff. Actually, did a good thing today. That's that's good. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hmm. 
Uh, follow valet, blah blah blah. Okay. Hey, Jacob, what's up? Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna give you a chance, Jacob. Don't don't screw up, man. Um, all I ask is that you uh, you don't have to kiss my butt. You don't have to do what I say. But the only thing I ask is that you respect me. And that's uh, something that is hard to come by these days. But a lot of people in the chat do have that, and I respect that. So I guess that's it. And uh, so what I'm going to do today is I should have waited till more people come on. Uh, there's going to be no cussing day. I'm going to handle my business, uh, take care of the game, take care of you guys, have fun. And uh, haters automatically get blocked. We don't even give them a chance to. It's not that I don't mind talking to them. It's just that I'm busy today, and I don't want to hold their hand. So... It's just going to be automatic block. And they will come, so be ready. But like I said, I don't mind talking to them. I'm just kind of too busy today. Hey, Big Red, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, so I'm going to let the... Uh, what time is it? It's 3.12. My girl went to bingo. I'll probably start about 6. I'm going to let the mods handle the chat today. I'm going to try to be as loving as kind as I can, considering what happened today, and uh, also what I've learned. And uh, so I want to say this, and I'm going to say it because I think it's it's something that rings true to you guys, and I'm going to start and shut my mouth. Um, I saw a video, I'm not going to say what it is, but it, it kind of touched me because it's actually somebody I don't like, and um, uh, for probably minor reasons. But I heard somebody expressing you know the fact that they work hard and their child and all that so I respect all women that uh, bust their butt and try to take their care of their kid because I have a lot of respect in terms of people that take care of the kids so yeah that's all I want to say about that so much respect to the person who I'm talking about ironically enough I don't like that person but I just want to give a shout out in terms of that because I felt like it was the right thing to do so but it's good to see that uh, people have a soft side and uh I had to witness that, so that was actually a good thing. And uh, like I said, I don't mind correcting myself, so you know, that is what it is. Okay, now I gotta go up here. All right, got it, got it, got it. What's that club at? Uh, what's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? How you doing, man? Yeah, guys, uh, check out my video. I watched Infinity War, and, um, man, I came out of the movie theater. Nobody was clapping. Everybody was pissed off. I was expecting some sort of grand finale victory, but, pff, I mean, it was... The movie was great, but, I mean, uh, I was disappointed. It's like... <laughs> uh, you guys would have to see the movie, like... Um, but my girl got mad at me, but I was just telling the truth. I said, why don't they just put Superman in there, and they... I mean, come on. <laughs> Superman could kill Thanos easy. Come on, guys. It's Superman. But, you know, they're not going to do that. I mean, <laughs> but that'd be cool if the, the DC and Marvel got together to kick Thanos' butt. Oh, my gosh. Be a piece of cake. Be a cakewalk. <laughs> yeah. But that's why Super Superman's my favorite hero. I mean, it's Superman. Come on, man. He He, he would kill Thanos. Not to mention how fast he is, I mean. No, the Flash can't, bro. The Flash just runs real fast. Come on. You see when the Flash was running, Superman looked at him and smiled? I even saw it on Smallville one time. Uh, did, you guys hear the, did you guys hear the news about that girl that's in trouble from Smallville? You know the cute girl with the blonde hair? Wow. She's like in trouble. I think she's in jail. Uh, I don't want to go on a tangent about it, but yeah, I watched a Smallville episode where actually uh, Superman was racing against Flash and, and beat him. <clears throat> Super uh, Flash is really fast, but Superman's like, man, he's real fast. Okay, stay near there. Okay. Let me go right here. Oh, crap. What the hell just happened? Where's my chat? To slice anything uh, he can vibrate his hand yeah I mean but come on man I mean you got to look at the big picture and in, in the first and the first Justice League uh, 
uh, in the first Justice League, Superman takes out Doomsday, who's the only one that could do it. Even having that kryptonite hit in him, it was painful. Then again, on the second Justice League, he kills the enemy when everybody else can't do it. Come on, man. Superman's a damn beast. I mean, it, it, that's a no-brainer right there. It's freaking Superman. <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, he's he's the best hero, but don't get me wrong. I love a lot. I love Spider-Man. I love Hulk. Thor is freaking awesome. You know what I mean? I have a lot of heroes I like, but I don't know. But ever since Christopher Reeve died, I've been a freaking mess. I just, I thought Super uh, Christopher Reeve played an amazing Superman. Just, he did such a freaking good job. Back in the day. When's he coming, man? Jeez. In the Columbus Glass Feet Superman? I've never read that comic. So, Flash beats Superman up. I gotta read that damn comic. So what, Superman dies? I doubt that. Hey, that's the, DA. the only creature that was able to harness the power to... For if, you, if you guys... Uh, the only person that has the same strength as Superman is uh, Doomsday. And, uh, and if you read the comment, which I'm correct, they beat the hell out of each other and Superman is so exhausted he dies. But they changed it up in the movie a bit. Why is a car coming, man? Jeez. How about a, how about a, I thought it would pop by, 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 by. Talking about Avengers a bit more. This is my little cousin. Nah, yeah, nah, nice. I had a question to ask you before you go, Riku, because I know you don't stay that long. Oh, crap. I gotta take him out. I gotta take him out. Get him out of here, I really gotta concentrate today. There's too much to do in this game. Uh, wait, be right back. Polito is where I got my source. Yeah, I feel you, man. The Flash is cool, man, but come on. I mean, Flash didn't kill Doomsday, and Flash didn't uh, kill that tough guy in the second Injustice. I mean, Justice League, I'm sorry. So, yeah, Superman's the man. But I think Batman is kind of the brains of the bunch, you know. I love all of them. Uh, Wonder Woman's freaking powerful, man. Wonder Woman is amazing. I actually like Aquaman in the movie. I thought he was... He was pretty powerful, you know. I, I've always liked Aquaman. I don't know. Some people don't like him. You know. Deadly, deadly. What's up, man? How's it going? Uh, let me get over here. We did it. We did it. Working together. Oopsie. Doopsie. Oh, come on. Seriously? I heard that you got the glasses on when you was uh, streaming. Hold on. Uh, let's see where it's recently. What glasses? Oh, yeah, you mean the sunglasses. Okay, the dresser man, take the car. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, hold on a second. Give me a second. Keep the car spotless. Oh, sons of biscuits. Oh, I guess if you hit a pole, it doesn't count. Oh, my gosh, you freaking idiots. Who freaking idiot? It's Mike Andrews. Understand that it's okay to be poor. There need to be poor people. We rich are the yin. You are the yang. We need you. He's changed millions of lives with his book, Rags Are Rich. Do I still got some mods in the chat? I've had a run of bad luck. What the freak? Alright. I'm going to be cool today. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be cool. I'm not going to say nothing. you a new outlook on life. Instead of complaining about being poor, enjoy it. Watch TV. I'm going to take, take my time next time. I'm going too fast. But I'm homeless. Just take you it slow next it time. Society doesn't owe you anything. The Let me go slow this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I heard it. How are you? Doing good, Nelson. Thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, I don't usually stream on Sundays, but I'm going to do it today because my girl's in bingo. But I'll be taking off next Sunday because... Well, I should take a day off the way I'm feeling. <laughs> yeah, I need at least one day off. It's fucked up. Two would be nice, but. Hey, motherfucker! The code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't. 
I'm going to tell you guys something's going to blow your freaking mind. Just to prove, you know, you, do you guys see that video where I was talking about, about, I went on this guy's stream because I was bored, and he was talking about his stream was rated G, but he was cussing, he was cussing and and he was saying that uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day was rated G, and, and that the chat was saying it was rated G, and I was like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I played every rare game ever made, and they're trying to tell me that Conqueror's Bad Fur Day is rated G. And he was pretty, uh, he's, he's pretty serious about it. And I was like, wow. That's what I'm talking about, guys. You, when you, you, these streamers come off like they're intelligent, and then they're just all wrong, man. Rated G. Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, the bee had sex with the flower. There's cussing in the whole game. How the hell is it rated G? No way, Jose. And the fact that Nintendo, you know, kind of abided by the game is kind of shocking because, I mean, Nintendo would never do that now, so it's kind of strange, you know? Yeah, it's so weird. Alright, I'm going to get it right this time, I promise. <clears throat> oh, but I know, I know what I was going to tell you guys. So... So, I was going on uh, Twitter last night looking at people's profiles, because I was bored, right? You know, looking at different streamers. Sometimes I get bored, right? Anyways, so this one guy, did, he sent a message on Twitter, and he said, he said, you're not going to believe what I'm about to say. Check this out. This proves my point. This guy was saying, Ninja is the best and most popular and famous guy on YouTube. <laughs> I was like, are you freaking kidding me? He was literally saying that Ninja, who became really famous on Twitch and kind of moved over to YouTube. I mean, much respect. I ain't got nothing against the guy. But this guy's saying that Ninja's the most famous YouTuber? <laughs> That's a load of crap. Everybody knows that PewDiePie is a freaking king. And who's next? Jacksepticeye, Mark Lepire. Um, yeah, I think Mar Mark Lepire and Jacksepticeye have the top subscribers, I think. Uh, yeah. But, man, I tell you what. People just crack me up, man. They crack me up. Yeah. This guy was like... He's pretty adamant about it. He's like, oh, crap, what the freaking hell? Son of a rudder of a biscuit of a something. Yeah, this guy was like... Ninja is the greatest YouTuber, the most famous on YouTube. I was like, what? Come on, man. Like, it's like people don't get their facts straight, man. You know what I mean? They just... They just think because somebody's famous, you know? Alright, we got it. We got it. I don't know, man. I, I kind of feel like I need to keep my opinions to myself. Because, like you know, how people ain't going to listen to you. Like, if you tell them they're wrong, they ain't going to listen. Because they're right, you know? But, I mean, if I do say something, I try to make sure I know what I'm talking about, you know? Where the hell is he at anyway? Um, let me pull the jetty. All right, let me go here real quick. I gotta make sure the car doesn't get damaged. Oh, I had something else important to say, and then I'll shut my mouth. Um, I'm I'm sensing, if I'm correct. And I'm usually when I have when I'm sensing something I'm not wrong. I'm sensing that some of our mods aren't gonna be coming around anymore. Probably because of something I said or maybe they upset me, but I mean I mean I forgive them. It's all good, you know. I mean I politely I feel like it's like a Craig thing again. I politely told them not to say things and then they did, but it's all good. I'm not tripping about it. I mean it is what it is and I respect their opinion, you know, so if they don't come by, it's all good, man. No worries. I forgive them. No big deal. Whatever, you know. I'm trying to be positive today, you know. So, yeah, I just want to let you guys know, so. But, I mean, I kind of need a new mod, so, I mean, it's all good. No worries. No worries. Brother, I know, but shelter was showered. Is that him? Is that... Is that him? Yeah. 
Man, my girl won at bingo like four or five times yesterday. But she didn't win from the cards, though. She won like all these cards, but the cards didn't win, so. Sometimes she gets real lucky, but then sometimes when she opens the card, she doesn't get nothing, you know, so. Shoot, I wish I'd win sometimes. I sure need some money. <laughs> I think she just goes there because she's bored. I mean, you know what I mean? I guess everybody likes what they like, you know. Is he coming? I, I don't see him coming. Am I allowed to get in the car and wait? I don't know if I could do that. Is that him? Is he going? Okay. I'm surprised this takes so long. Is that him? Okay, okay, okay. Where are they? Where are they? Oh crap, there's a. Oh, that's not a cop, okay. Let's go, bye bye. Alright, I'm gonna take it slow this time. I can't wait. Oh crap. Back nabbit. OMG, am I going the wrong way? Everything's chill today. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, chill, chill. No more arguing. What's popping me? What's cracking me? What's happening me? Johnny Parker's and the man on the spot. The love Johnny, the man who can find the spot. The man who knows that uh -oh. X marks the spot. Unless you like to shave, you know what I'm saying? It's time to hit the phones. Oh, hey, Johnny, this is Daryl Call here. I just, I just want to say, I just want to say one thing. Hey, Johnny. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we. Hey, give me a break. I think I'm going to make it. Maybe. I might make it. time I thought I I thought I had enough time I had 10 seconds left oh well I mean I could go fast but I'm trying not to damage the car you know because every time I go fast the car hits me so I guess I have to go faster got no choice yeah what sorry Carl are you busy that's okay, I'll do it again, no big deal. I got three hours. Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. Yeah, the only hard part is just driving back real fast, but this mission is pretty easy overall. It's fucked up. I 
can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know, the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give Wee Tip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if he kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? He's at the Van Kamp Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, man. Is it raining? Alright, there's a the cop. Hey, don't sweat it. Do you guys like the rain? I hate the rain. What's up, girl? I love this song. It's a good song to drive to and have the wind blowing in your hair. I'm just gonna try to drive past this time because they don't give you a lot of time. It's not often you heard a who track with Townsend on the vocals. Yeah, but when raining. he stepped up, you knew he was gonna blow you away. The greatest band to come out of West London, no questions asked, no quarter given. Turn it up, people. Okay. Cool. Camera pepper. I feel like it's kind of more of a chill day because I'm supposed to be off today. I'm cool with that. Oh man, he's naked. What the? Uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. I think I missed something, didn't I? I need this more than you, I think. I am missing. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm going the right way. What the hell is going on here? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Come on, man. <laughs> What's this guy waiting for? Come on now. Oh wow. Wow, I did good actually. Let's see if I can make it over without crashing. Are you freaking kidding me? I can't kill a cop? Are you serious? Wow. I can't kill a cop on the mission? Wow, I didn't even know I can't do that. <laughs> wow. I've always killed cops on this mission. I, I don't get it. I can't kill cops on the mission. That's a new one for me. I didn't know I, I, didn't know I uh, couldn't do that. Oh man, I never killed a cop on the mission. I guess that's why. I mean, I think I did. I can't remember. I, I think I did. I don't know. It's been a while. I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. I got 500 subscribers, and uh, I'm going to surmise that you're from uh, that girl's channel. It's sad that she has you people in the chat. She's actually actually a better person than you are. I'm dumb, but I got uh, over a thousand subscribers, and you have how many? Ooh, you don't even have a profile. Wow, I'm kind of speechless. Have a good day, Jacob. I think I just won the argument. The difference between me and you, Jacob. I don't care what people think. You do. Oh, and thanks for the view, bro. Appreciate it, man. Don't forget to come back tomorrow. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be streaming tomorrow. We'll see. I'm so stupid that my girl has uh, a bachelor's and a master's degree, and she's going to get her doctorate. That's how stupid I am. <laughs> yeah, my girl likes stupid people. <laughs> You're an idiot, dude. <laughs> I don't think you argue with that one.
I've kind of decided to take Putty Pie's advice and not impress anybody. So that's what I'm going to do. There's a, Alex, not Jacob, 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 Jacob. Uh, oh, my bad, my bad. Did I push the wrong one? I'm not going to lie, I freaking need glasses. I need to get some freaking glasses. That's my damn problem. My girl keeps telling me to wear glasses and I won't do it. I'm so damn hard. Thanks, uh, Big Red. Appreciate it. Yeah, I confess. I, I need glasses, but I'm hard-headed. I won't get none. My girl keeps telling me to get some. That guy, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, Jacob Schmakeup, whatever. Alex Loner. Wait a minute. No, I hit the right one. No, wait a minute. Did I hit the wrong one? Hold on a second. Um, no. Oh, it won't let me pull it up anymore. No, there it goes. My bad. Oh, they have... Well, okay, my bad. Uh, it won't pull up. No problem, club. No. <laughs> Yeah, if I was dumb, and I'm actually surprised, something happened to me today to make me be quite positive. So I decided I'm not going to cuss in the stream, or at least try. I only cuss when I'm getting angry, and I'm quite happy right now. Especially what happened today. And, uh, I did a good thing today, you know, and it made me think, uh, you know, that, that I'm very blessed, you know. So yesterday, uh, I want to share something with you that's going to blow your mind. I saw a video from a very highly intelligent YouTuber. Um, I just found out about him and I was kind of looking something up and I already studied it because I used to study psychology a little bit. I know, shocking, right? And he did a wonderful outline video. He, he drew the pictures and everything of what is, the, what is the premise and why do people hate? And he basically kind of went on and on. He basically was saying that usually when people dislike you or hate you, it's an insecurity in, in themselves, which they're kind of thrown out in terms of like, it's kind of like, like whatever, com whatever people complain about, that's what they are. You know what I'm saying? So he went sort of on this intellectual um, rant about, in a positive way. I mean, it was like a good rant. And he's basically saying, the meaning and the psychologicalness of uh, haters and what does it mean so and how they project so so it's kind of like what he was saying is it's not that haters hate you it's they hate something within themselves so they're projecting that out or perhaps projecting something out in other words they tend to act like what they hate you know what I'm saying so if they hate clubhead there's a part of them is that's maybe is like clubhead or something Maybe I maybe they feel inferior to me, or you know what I mean. So I can't explain everything he said. It's too long. It was like a 20-minute video, but it, it really blew me away. I like what he had to say about haters. And uh, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna look at that video again because it was very insightful. Yeah, for sure. And I ne and never in my life would think that people were inferior to me or jealous or felt insecure in some way that they had to put me down, which, I mean, don't get wrong, I love attention, so it doesn't bother, it doesn't bother me, but I've always been fascinated with the psychological aspect of things and to, to, you know, look at his study and see that in terms of his video, I thought it was pretty amazing. I actually learned something from it. But you know, you can never stop learning. Uh, crap. You know what? I'm in such a hurry, it's crazy. Screw it, I'm out of here. I've never liked these cars, ever. Wait. Smash the sound. 
Let me look at the uh, briefing real quick. All right, and we got it. Yeah, but I mean, Pootie Pie's not my favorite YouTuber, but I decided to take his advice since he's a top dog. And he was talking about how, you know, he's not a streamer that shows off, you know. And uh, he's kind of more about personality and being funny and stuff like that. And and so is Jack Sept guy and Marco Pryor. So I'm starting to realize that I think he's right. I think all of the top dogs on YouTube are really, I mean, the top three or four or five are really the ones that have a great personality or they're funny. They don't have to show off. You know, they don't have to do speed runs and so I'm gonna I'm gonna take Pootie Pie's advice and I'm gonna be me and be funny and you know I'm not gonna show off and I mean it's been working for me so far you know I think that's a good thing you want this to get ugly? yeah I will say this there's only one thing I hate about me and um, I wish my haters would have the balls to admit it, but they can't because they're cowards. And I'm not a coward. I'm going to go in and confess it before everybody. Um, the only thing I hate about myself is I get angry. How should I put it? Like, I only get angry with stupid people. I don't get angry. Like, it's kind of hard to explain what I'm trying to say. Like, if somebody hates me, that doesn't bother me. Like, I like the attention. But if somebody say something, says something stupid... You know, like, Conkers, blah, 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 is rated G, or, you know, like, that's what kind of irks me, you know? So, yeah, but I guess that's a side of me I don't like, to be honest with you. But, shockingly, I'm quite positive and quite loving, <laughs> but yet I got this Hulk kind of mentality, turning green and being an a-hole, you know, I know, I know, I know. But, I mean, it's something I'm working on, you know? It's something I'm working on. I mean, shoot, even my girl. <laughs> my girl will give you the shirt off her back. She'll feed you. She'll feed the homeless. But if you piss her off, oh my God, it's like Satan in reverse. <laughs> anyway, you guys you guys feel what I'm saying. Ain't nobody perfect, man. <laughs> People got this misconception, like, because I have a little faith, that means I'm holy. Bull crap. I got flaws, lots of flaws. I'm not, I'm not special, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, like, holy or something like that, you know? But, yeah, that's my personality, you know? It's quite honest and fair and, and sweet and good and loving, but, I mean, can I be an a-hole sometimes? Yeah, of course. When I have to be, but, you know, I don't usually act like an a-hole. But I think anybody can be an a-hole. I mean, come on, honestly. I mean, I don't think everybody in the chat is always happy or always positive. I mean, you know, we just got to be realistic, you know. That's not the real world. Unless you're, like, going to church and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, not wrong with that. But, yeah, I just, uh, I'm just realistic. I'm, this is me. I'm Clubhead, you know. Oh, yeah, she's very cool. What's up, Gary? How come it takes so long for this car to come? I want to get done with this damn mission. Can I say damn? Damn's not really a cuss word, is it? Not really. Okay, Diaz, get out of here. La da 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 da. Get him. Out. Out of the car. Do not want to do this mission. Over and freaking over. My girl said she, uh, she actually hates that Depeche Mode song. And I can see why. I mean, it's a good song, but the words, you know, it doesn't make sense. So I, I can see why she doesn't like it. Right, let's go, baby. Let's go. Good guy. Good girl. Good girl, my. My girl, my. Good guy. Oh, this is a lot easier than before. Wow. Oh, baby. I mean, have, have I been happy when I used to, 
you know, hanging with certain people that are on the holy side. I'm trying to say without saying, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't hate those times, but you know, they were good times. They were fun times. They were enlightening, enlightening times. But uh, I mean, right now where I'm at in my life, you know, um, I'm just seeing where I'm at, you know, seeing where I want to go, you know. Oh crap. What's popping me? What's cracking me? What's happening me? I'm almost there. Almost there, baby. Good God. Oh my gosh. How long is this gonna take? Okay, we go here, bada bam, bada boom. Okay. Got enough time to bust the rhyme, I don't know. Valley's coming, return the DA car. Valley's coming to return the DA car, get outside, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't even read that last part. Uh, okay, got it. I call the cops. I didn't read the last part. Man, I'm being lazy today. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Hey, were you watching uh, Corporate Kai, the Cardia? I was kind of checking it out a little bit. Not too much. I mean, uh, yeah, I was kind of looking at it. I mean, I always liked the Karate Kid movie, but never been like a huge fan. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of checking it, check it out a little bit. Do you know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you I was moron. watching it the other night. Shut up! Back there. Not the whole episode, but I was kind of skimming through it, you know. Hey, AZ28, what's up, man? But, How's it going? Never seen. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy. Oh, crap. He just hit the DA. Grove Street! Cub, I, I, I was pretty good. I mean, it was pretty good. right? Hold on. Right, but they're using bikes, DJ, and they go cross country. Oh, I wish you'd stop calling. I gotta check into some shit. Yeah, I think it's weird that, um... Give me this deal. I think it's weird that they kind of like making the Karate Kid bad, kind of like, and the other guy's nice. But hey, people change, man. People change. It's like before the Karate Kid was good, and now the tables are turned. Uh, sometimes that happens, you know? But I think that guy in the old movie, I don't think he ever liked his master anyway. Because yeah. remember in the old movie, the master's like break his leg and the guy's like, no, no. I don't ever, th ever thought, uh, I didn't think he was fully bad. He was just misguided, you know. Yeah, well, love this game, still playing. Oh, yeah. What up, what's up? Holy moly. One up, dude. One up. I haven't seen you in freaking years. Where you been, bro? Holy moly, I haven't seen you in freaking years. Yeah, one up used to come on my stream. Jeez, like a few years ago? I don't know. I can't remember. Okay. Dag nabbit! Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl. Are you busy? Zero? Nah, man. Good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, uh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. All right, let me say one more time. Get that real quick. Now I gotta go hit this right here. Deconstruction. Let's see what this mission is. Oh, okay, I remember. Hey, homies. What up, Carl? What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a hooker to you? What? Those assholes keep saying 
shit to me. Who said this to you? The construction workers up that hill. I'm gonna fuck them up. Nah, hold up. <laughs> I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect. Huh? That's right. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway. I met a player a long time ago. He would get all the girls, man. He was a brother, actually. And uh, he gave me some advice. He said, do you know that when men brag about how much sex they get, he said they're actually getting none. And I think that's kind of true, you know. I was kind of trying to affiliate that with the construction workers, so to speak. Like, uh, these construction workers, they work all day. You know they ain't getting nothing at home, you know what I mean? Come on now. You piece of crap. You coming at me like that? Oh, you must want to die. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh, just fuck you, Destroy all the portables. Blah, 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 blah. Let me kill all the guys first. I'd rather do that. Got the fuck here. There we go. Kill this one over here. There we go. You freaking something, something. You want to go there? Oh, dag nabbit. I need that shit you dropped. Get up there. I can't believe this. You happy now? Did I get everybody? I think I did. Such a tape of new song out the you know. Uh Alice and Change. Oh. Well don't get mad at me, but I ca I kinda don't listen to them much anymore. I don't really listen to them more because well, personal reasons. I don't wanna piss you guys off, so I'm not gonna say nothing, but yeah, I don't I don't really kinda listen to them anymore. I mean I like the song in the game, but you know. Oh crap. Yeah, I mean I used to think they're pretty cool, but as far as that kind of grungy kind of sound, I've always preferred uh, Nirvana and um, Stone Temple Pilots. Stone Temple Pilots had a lot of talent, man. I mean they were never never my favorite bands, but I thought they were pretty cool. They definitely had their own sound, you know. Oh crap. You dirty bastards. Alright, you want some of me? Huh? Huh? Respect me! I'm the club head. I'm the club head. I'm the club head. Oh man, I'd hate to do this for a living. This I mean you could sit down, but it's kind of boring. What the heck? Uh, where are these guys coming from? Alright, let me get it from here. the frickin' <laughs> Wow, I was almost done for. Oh, MJ. All right. All right. Let's put that bad boy right over here. <laughs> oh God! Oh, I'm gonna blow. All right, all right, all right. We got it. We got it. Let me get that cement truck. Wait, why is there two blue? Hold on. 
Okay. I thought there was one cement truck. There's two. That's my song, baby. Let's park that bad boy up. Get him, CJ. Get him. <laughs> CJ's kind of evil, isn't he? <laughs> He's kind of freaking evil. Uh, BD Black Hat. What's up, man? How's it going? Nabbits. Trying to hear a song. Yeah, what? Yo, man. It's Jethro, dude. Hey, Jethro, what up? Well, I was talking to Caesar and uh, just down this game, nice. Me wrong, dude. I mean, remember the movie uh Twilight, Twilight to driving, man. But Caesar, Oh yeah, I remember that. That was insane. How many cars you get through, dude? And me and Dwayne were like, whoa. What is ah, point, screw Jethro? this. I'm gonna skip There's this. No point, man. No point. Just up there's an advanced driving school, like, just up the road from the garage, man. Like in Doherty. Driving school? Man, exactly what you trying to say, man. Nothing, man, nothing. It was Can I skip this? Idea. I think you're, you know, cool and shit. I, I better go, CJ. I'll see you later. Yes, please. Jeez. I'm trying to save the game. I'm getting phone calls left and right. Yeah, I actually remember... Uh, the old Twilight Zone. I mean, I, I wasn't around back then, but the was the black and white one in the 50s. I can't remember, but the what the black and white one was really amazing. But yeah, the movie was pretty good. And wasn't that Stephen King? I think it was Stephen King that did it. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was Stephen King. I'm not for sure. But yeah, man. You I think the best movies were. Hey, my cousin just called me. He gave me a tip about a baller's car going to San Fierro to score you. Or the old movies, you know. She. We gotta find out who's supplying those cats. Okay, but give give Caesar. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no 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 no. Uh, an actor and two children was killed in making in the movie. Yeah, I heard a worse story than that. You guys hear about the story about the mother that killed his kid, her her kids? Wow. This messed up, man. Yeah, I saw it and I was looking at my phone. It popped up. Yeah, what? Well, this mother killed her children. I'm like, damn, man. Three kids. It's messed up, man. Okay, hold on, hold on. God, I love these guys. They like me too, I'll have you know. Big crystal ship fans. Yeah, sometimes uh, people could kill them if he's doing all them crazy stunts and whatnot, you know. Music never gets old. But see those setups that they do, you know, um, Dusty. things go high wire or whatever. Dust. You hear about that high ranking prosecutor who was caught with all the weed? Jeez, man, what an asshole. Imagine keeping that much for your own personal stash. How far I gotta go? Alright, see how far it is. Um, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, game, pull it back, game. Oh, it's way the heck over there. So wow. Often you heard a who track with Townsend on the vocals, but when he stepped up, you knew he was gonna blow you away. The greatest band to come out of West London, no questions asked, no quarter given. Turn it up, people. Oh, your friend? From me from the old days? Yeah, and so the I got to look up a story, but basically uh, this woman killed her children, uh, two little boys and a girl, because I guess she was depressed. She was going through a lot. Um, her children were like starving. 
they couldn't they couldn't you know they had a lot of financial problems I mean they didn't look like they were starving the pitcher but I guess she decided hey I'm gonna take them all out and go to heaven I guess but I don't think you gotta go to heaven doing that yeah man that's messed up man she's I can't believe mother would do something like that that's pretty crazy Yeah, it's hot in Texas, man. It's hot here. Oh, come on. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> Bye bye. Grove Street. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. It's be good tomorrow. Same with t-shirt on? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just gotta take it off, you know what I mean? It gets hot in the house. I'm actually in a good mood today. Hmm. I'm from California. No, no, I'm not. I tell everybody where I'm from. Nope, not in California. I would never live in California. This is like three thousand dollars for one bedroom. Jeez, that's a rip off. I mean, not that I couldn't, but I mean, you just gotta be smart with your money, you know. Heck, son of an abbot. Okay, so I want anybody that's as old as I am to tell me what is the best looking girl in the TV show you've ever seen? It could be like a 50 show, 80 show, whatever. It's got to be a TV show. Best looking girl. Oh, no worries, Jimmy. Thanks for coming by. Much love, Brown. I would say the best looking girl. Man. Uh, the girls that I had, like, a crazy, insane crush on. I'm like, like, I'm talking like utterly gorgeous, utterly beautiful. Like, uh, curves like a doll. You know, that whole kind of. Oh, crap. Hold on. But I would say the top three, probably most. Beautiful, drop dead, blah blah blah. Now I used to have an insane crush on. Um, I used to have an insane crush on um, Marianne from uh, Gilligan's Island. You know she had the she had the pigtails and the little shorts. Oh my gosh, Marianne from Gilligan's Island. Woo, that girl. Woo. Punky Brewster, Marianne from Gilligan's Island. Man, when I was young, I thought she was just gorgeous. Like. She just had like this 50s model, supermodel kind of like, like, 
Like, man, that girls don't look like that now. Like, I can't explain, like, how she looked, but... And she was so cute, and... And who's the other girl? Morticia from the Adams Family. Come on. Morticia from the Adams Family. That girl was drop-dead gorgeous. I'm talking drop-dead. She had this whole gothic thing going on. And I want to say another girl that I thought was just so impressive on film is Ellie Mae from the Beverly Hillbillies. Wow. Ellie Mae from the Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah, I guess those three girls. Oh, I forgot one. I forgot one. What is the top one? Ah, I would say Marianne, but I would say Wonder Woman from the TV show OMG. I had an insane crush on her. I mean, my girls had crush on people too when she was young, but yeah, Wonder Woman from the old TV show. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was going to say Mary Man, but Mary Ann, but no, I think it's Wonder Woman. Happy wow. So this club had more relaxed or aggressive. I'm just letting you guys know that this is my relaxing side. Today is my relaxing side. <laughs> but I said TV shows. I didn't say movies. Yeah, Morticia, Ellie Mae, Marianne, and uh, Wonder Woman from the TV show. Wow, wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Drop Dead Gorgeous Girls. That was when him to say, this is my aggressive side. Uh, yeah. But if you ask me, now nah, I ain't gay. Come on, guys. But, you know, if you see a good looking guy, you're going to know he's good looking. That's a no brainer, right? What are you going to say? He's ugly? I mean, you're not going to tell him that. But, like, but if someone asked me what I think was, was the most attractive guy star, so to speak, in the whole world ever, like movie stars, probably Elvis. I guess, uh, I guess when, when Marlon Brando was young, man, he was a lady killer. A lady killer. I would say Marlon Brando when he was young, Elvis, and, and, uh, what's that young guy that died in, uh, um, James Dean. Yeah, I would say probably in movie history, it's probably James Dean, Elvis, and Marlon Brando. Yeah, well, Marlon Brando was young. He was a lady killer, man. Yeah. I hope I got his name right. Yeah, those guys were lady killers, man. Like, they had ladies just begging to be with them. Begging. These legendary movie stars, you know. And singers or whatever. And I was surprised to find out what actor made the most movies than any actor in history. I found out it was John Wayne. I was surprised to find out that John Wayne made more movies than anybody. That's crazy. John Wayne. Yeah, this was uh, Lady, Lady Killer Jaws. Lady Killer? No, I meant like... Uh, you know what I meant. <laughs> no, man. He killed... The Jaws killed uh, kids and everything, too. That was graphic for the 70s, guys. For a shark to kill a, a kill a child in the water, that was pretty graphic in the 70s. That was pretty freaking graphic. That movie freaked everybody out. I tell you what, when I saw that freaking movie, I never went in the water again. And I studied sharks. I studied sharks. Screw that, I ain't going in the water. No way. I mean, yeah, I've studied sharks for years, but... Shoot, I ain't going in the water for nothing. No way. I love this song. This is my relaxing side today. Give me a second. Okay, hold on. I miss my old friends. Ah, whatever happened to music, man? Like, what? Whatever happened to music when music was good? Damn, whatever happened? 
Whatever happened? Jeez. And where did what the hell happened to music? Oh, I forgot I gotta take this uh this little cat back. Yeah. Yeah, I was disappointed in the movie today. That movie kind of pissed me off. I mean, it was good, but... Yeah, when I saw the movie and how Thanos was so powerful, and I'm like, screw this crap. Throw Superman in there. Kill him. Kill him now. Just throw Superman in there. I don't know. I was pissed off. Uh, hopefully, um... Well, I read the comic book, so I know what's going to happen in the second part, so it's all good. I used to have a crush on the girls from Three's Company. <laughs> yeah, man, but them girls ain't got nothing on Marianne and the girls I said. But, yeah, they were pretty cute. Oh, yeah, what's her name? The the little brown-haired one that wore the shorts? Yeah. But th they're not like that in real life, you know, all these girls. But, you know, they're acting, you know. The same thing with Meryl Monroe. A lot of people thought that Marilyn Monroe was stupid. She actually read books. You know, actually, for, for those of you who don't know, Marilyn Monroe was kind of trained to act stupid in the movies. I mean, not stupid, but you know what I mean. Ditzy is a better word, I guess. But yeah, she was real intelligent. She read books all the time. Um, but, you know, you got to do that, I guess. Love that record. I've made love with that record, both alone and with others. I mean, you even have to do that crap on YouTube, you know. Sadly. All right, still, baby. Egyptian lover. Egyptian lover, baby. Egyptian lover. Egypt is the place to be. Egypt. Egypt. Egypt is the place to be. Egypt. Egypt. Alright, let me pop this bad boy out. There we go. And I, I will say this. What are the classiest women of all times? Come on, man. It's a no damn brainer. I would say the women that are from the 40s and the 50s. If the way they... Man, it's like... They had like that film screen gold, that glow. Like, you know what I mean? If you look at those old movies, they have like a glow about them. They have this, I'm not, I don't, I don't mean like a godly glow, but you know what I mean? They had like this glow about them. They call it the silver screen, you know? The golden age of television. I don't know. That's how I put it, but. There it is, Holmes. But yeah, if you look at Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart and their old movies, like their faces are like glowing. Like the way they did movies back then, especially in the 50s, it was just, man, it was just amazing. The scripts, the writers. I think it's sad that the, the younger generation can't see how great film used to be, you know. Oh crap, let me get, let me get bigger. Right. Get his face. Come on, man. Come on, I already got his freaking face. Honestly. Dag, freaking nabbits. <sighs> Why didn't you guys tell me? I didn't know I was supposed to get Ryder's face. Uh, Stoke on the Trent. Something, something. England is roasting hot. Huh? I have no I, I have Judy Garland. I have no idea what you just said. You know what's weird is when, I guess because all the drugs, when Judy Garland got older... It makes you age, you know, but man, she was beautiful when she was young. Betty Davis. Santos again. I mean, everybody gets old. I mean, like... I mean, I'm still attractive, but I was very attractive when I was young. Like, 
Like I would, I when like when I go in a room, girls are always quiet around me. You know, I I never really talked to girls when I was young because I was kind of like real shy. You know. I have to let this one slide, man. Got too much shit on my plate. Yeah, so I like to feel on VHS cassettes. Da -da 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 -da. Ryan, what's up, man? How's it going, man? How's it going? Let's get this crap over with. I I had no idea I was supposed to, uh, you know, uh, take a picture of Ryder. My bad. See, I've been through a desert on the horse with no name. Do you have a, a fair faucet poster? Uh, you know what? Um. Oh my God, is my gum hurting? Damn it! I still haven't got this tooth pulled out. Dang, damn it! I got like a. I got like a broken tooth that affects the gum. You know, if you ever have a broken tooth, it can cause an infection. So. I gotta get that damn thing pulled out. I've been prolonging it for so long. Yeah, but I, I seriously gotta pull that damn tooth out. Um, Fair Fawcett, no, I was into. Um, I'm gonna tell you who I had insane crush on. Um, Take it, hold it, love it. I had an insane crush on Cheryl Ladd. Especially the boat scene where she comes out of the water with the bathing suit. I don't know, man. Cheryl Ladd. I just thought she was adorable. Like, uh, should I be saying this? Is my girl watching? <laughs> Anyways. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> anyway. I mean, she had crushes, too. So, whatever. Best not to mention where you got that, okay? Yeah, I could play this game five times at least. I don't know, Ryan. I mean, I, I don't really try to rush in the game. I'm just having fun, you know? That's probably the only thing me and Pootie Pie and Boogie, Boogie 29 have in common. We just kind of enjoy the game, you know? Instead of like, oh, I gotta rush through it, blah, 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 blah speed run, blah, 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 blah. I don't really do that, you know? Okay, let me save over here real quick, and then we'll get a move on. Machine up and on the dash up where the horse with no name, blah, blah. There's no motorcycle here? Freaking bummer. Uh, my girl's going to be home in a while after bingo, so she said she's going to wash clothes. So if you guys hear some uh, cleaning, you'll know what it is. Okay, I need a motorcycle real quick. Oh, I don't want that. All right, let me go over here and let me see. It's a good game. Yeah, it's a great game. I haven't seen you in a while. Ron, how you doing? Forgive me, guys, if, not, if I'm not so... Um, happy today I got um I got a lot of severe pinching nerve pinching in my neck from those discs so so yeah it, it kind of affects my stream performance so to speak but I think I'm doing all right I don't I'm looking for a freaking motorcycle I don't see nothing you know what screw it I'll just take this I live with my girlfriend. I live with my girlfriend and uh, her brother. My girl's at bingo and my, uh, her brother's uh, at work. Thank God. I remember that old Brazos River where I learned to swim. Let's go. But it brings to mind another time where I wore my Classic country. I remember this song. Yeehaw. I'm gonna have to drive, uh, get on a motorcycle on this bad boy. Oh my exes live in Texas. Ain't that the truth? Please, uh, if I told you, no, I'm not gonna tell y'all how many girls I've dated. <laughs> I told my girl and she got pissed off. I was like, that's in the past. That's in the past, honey. That's why I hang my hat. Tennessee. Tennessee. Honey, I'm craving some Vittles. Rustle me up some Vittles tonight. Oh, you nitwits, halfwits, and dimwits. That was some real country You should get the game bullet. I think you might like Uh... Tennessee. 
The only thing that, um, I know, I know what you're going to say, but hear me out. A lot of people don't go by reviews, but I do because I trust certain reviewers that are usually uh, right on spot. Um, Bully, ha Bully hasn't got the greatest reviews, but um, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, enough filling in my gut, but I do have another Rockstar game I'm pulling out. I'm not going to say what it is. It's kind of a surprise, but yeah, I have another one coming. Yeah, but I, I can't give away no info. It's, it's kind of a surprise. I'll be getting that one. Oh, my ex is living in Texas. Oh, my gosh. This truck must be been a steal. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the country. I might as well play country. Never to city, yeah. And ask how old you are. Uh, some people. Uh, I tell you what. How old do I look, Element? If you say 80, I won't. I won't. I won't trip. How do I? How do I look? You. You tell me. How? How old do I look? I'm not ashamed of my age. I put it this way, I'm glad I'm not a teenager anymore because I was a real a-hole back then. Holy moly. If I tell you some of the things I did when I was young, you wouldn't believe me. I did some pretty bad things. But, you know, I changed, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm very... I'm, I, I'm glad I get older and, you know, you know, I, you know, I try to eat right and all that and... It's hard to lift weights because of my neck, you know. I, I know I need to get fixed, but I'm stubborn as hell. But, um, I mean, if you abu if you abuse your body in life, hey, hey, that's life, you know. I mean, but, but to get back to what you're saying about the my age, you didn't answer my question. I'm so bad with the guessing people. 33? Ah, not bad. Yeah, a lot of people say I'm about that age. I'm 49. Uh, 49 and I'll be 50 November the 14th and uh, uh, I still got the moves I could still dance I could still run real fast play football uh, but until I fix this neck eh, I don't know man I gotta chill I gotta chill and be careful because I don't want to screw it up anymore I probably got to get that damn surgery That's the only thing I hate about myself, like, that's the only thing I hate about myself, like, if I break a bone, I'll be like, oh, I don't want to go to the doctor, like, that's the only thing I hate about myself, you know? How long have you been gaming for? Uh, uh, can I, uh, gaming for, can I count, uh, pinball games going to the arcade? Does that count? I'm gonna tell you why I got a lot of respect for older people. I'm, I'm not, I want to say, I mean, I met some older people that act like kids, but um, if you guys don't know Boogie Twenty Nine Eighty Eight, he's my, he's my favorite YouTuber. I have a lot of respect for him, the trials and the depression, everything he went through, and he's so positive, you know. And he comes from an abusive family, and but for him to rise up and be famous on YouTube, for him to win a game award, he's in his forties, he won a game award. Most teenagers or people in their 20s cannot do that on YouTube. I mean, for him to win a game award. And he started he started when YouTube came on. I mean, he was uh, actually around longer than PewDiePie, I think, or when PewDiePie came around. So, yeah, he's, in my, and in my opinion, he's the best YouTuber because he's just an amazing guy. He's a totally nice guy, you know. And like I said, for him to win a game award... This is pretty amazing. Not to mention all the other things he's he's done. I mean, he's friends with Mark Laplier. He's friends with a lot of famous YouTubers. You know. Like, like, like. I pretty much already figured out what, who the top streamers are, you know? I watched her take him 
but um, I don't like a lot of famous streamers, but there's only a few I watch. I watch Footy Kapai, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, I watch Boogie. Um, I can't think of anybody else. Um, I like a few girl YouTubers, not very many. I don't watch a lot of girl YouTubers, but there's a few I like. They're quite nice. Oh! <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention, damn it! Clubhead, pay attention to the damn game. All right, man. Jeez. All right. All right. Wait, is this where... Is this where... You guys got me distracted. I got the talking. Wow, Gary Boy, that's awful. Hey, hey, what happened, Gary Boy? Damn, Club, I just got told one of my friends killed him. Oh, man. How'd he kill himself, bro? T tell me what happened. Heck, Nabbit. What's going on today, man? Jeez. I see you. Man, that's very sad, man. What was his name, man? What was his name? Not right now. I gotta check into some shit. Can I go up here? Tack nabbit. Let me get the Sam Hickey Hell out of here. Oh man. I hate this damn mission. The only thing I hate about the mission is too freaking long. All right, I don't know yet, Steven. Steven? Well, I can't believe I'm saying this because I don't usually say it in the stream, but I'll say a prayer for him, man. I hope that his family recovers because somebody you love dies. A hard blow, man. I've had somebody I was insanely in love with die in my arms like in a matter of seconds, so it's hard, man. I mean, it's hard. I mean, I've seen death a lot in my life. I mean, I never died, but you know what I mean? It's it's freaking hard, man, to deal with something like that. Especially if you're close to somebody, you know. And if it's your ma or it's a kid, oh, that makes it worse. You know, so, but... Come on. Come on, what a up, Ness? What a up, Ness? What a up, Ness? Like, I always do the same thing every time. I go this way, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Bada bam, bada boom. I'm having this. Steven. Steven, I'm gonna have to remember that. I promise I'll do it tonight, man. You have my word. Are y'all like super close or just kind of close? Man, that's messed up, man. Man, the, the only advice I can give you is, man, when somebody close to you dies, make sure your friends are around you. Uh, I'm talking good friends, not those, you know, halftime friends. I'm not talking about, you know what I mean? Make sure you keep your mind busy, man. Do whatever the hell it takes. Have a drink. If you got a drink, a whole bottle of scotch, go to church, have friends, you know, do whatever it takes to get through it, man. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. You got to do whatever it takes, dude. Whatever works for you. I mean, I know it works for me, but you got to do whatever it takes because you don't want to walk around um, depressed, you know, like killing yourself, you know, killing your heart like that. Yeah, yeah, I lost my mother too. Yeah, it's a hard bro, bro. I think anybody lose their mom, that's a hard freaking blow, especially if you're close to them. Sadly, a lot of people aren't close to their mom. Um, I can kind of tell you about my roommate, but I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. I think you guys can figure it out. You know. I think y'all can figure it out. All right, let me go over here real quick. Oh, I forgot about this, man. Bada bang, bada boom, bada bada boom, ba boom, ba boom. All right, let's do it. This time, no mess ups. Uh, what time is it? It's 4.35. I'll probably stop at 6. 
My girl's gonna wash clothes when she gets home, so we prepare for some knocking. Let me see. Does I think guess bingo start at three thirty? She'll probably get off at five, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. CJ, you got it. We just bought a uh, we just bought a nice dryer, but we need another washer because this one's making weird sounds. Yeah, I I don't like it when like you know when washers get old they start to make noise. So I'm gonna get another one. Double super, what's up, man? How's it going, man? Bada bang, bada boom, uh, 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 uh. Super's in the house, what's up? My name is Elbow Peep, and I've lost my. Cob. Cow leaks, what? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know I could skip. Well, dag nab it out of son of a nab it. Alright, buddy. Appreciate it. Take me on this long freaking car ride. Jeez. What? Okay, I'll hear the song. I want to hear the song. When rap was good, public enemy, baby. Yo, Chuck! Man, this is when rap was good. Public enemy, holy moly. A political rebel. A political rebel. Yeah, Metallica, Metallica and Public Enemy, they kind of are similar, you know, with their lyrics. Like, they're both, they're all, uh, you know, political with their songs. You know, Ice-T had a metal band. Did you guys know that? Bet you guys didn't know that. Yeah, Ice-T had a metal band. Mm-hmm. For well, sure. Ice T had a metal band. Ice T's pretty amazing. I mean, he used to be a break dancer, he used to be in a rap. He was a straight up gangster, gangster, you know, and for him to go into metal, that's crazy. He's got a lot of talent. Oh crap. Come on, man. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let me reset. I gotta reset the chat. My bad. Hold on. Suckers. In one big chess game. Yo, Chuck! You got him, baby! You got him! Ooh, listen at scratching, man. They don't hear that anymore. Alright. Grandmaster Flash! Uh-oh. Am I going the right way? Oh, play the whole song, man. Jeez. I hate when DJs cut the, uh... All right. Oh, we're going down memory lane. Yeah. How you doing, Super? How's your day going? How you doing, Super? How's your day going? What's going up with you? I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen you stream in a while. What's going on? Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. I haven't seen you stream in a while. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Damn, I should have been a freaking cowboy. Cowboys are cool, man. I should have been a cowboy, baby. 
doctors and lawyers and such. Man, so what's the, ah! <laughs> oh, MG. <laughs> what am I doing? They'll never stay home and they're always alone. Even with someone they love. A cowboy left smoky old pool rooms and clear mountain mornings. Little warm I'm thinking about living in the country, like it's quiet. You know, get you a little milk, milk a cow, you know, kill a few chickens. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man, I love some milk. Ooh, I gotta have my milk, man. I love milk. I freaking love milk. I'm one of those guys that I gotta have milk with my sandwich, you know what I mean? Love milk, man. I go back to the 80s. If I could go back to the point of your life, what would I go? Hmm. Babies grow up to be I say, uh, probably when my daughter was born, that was that was pretty wild. I've never, I guess, as a man, some people faint, but you know, I took it, I dealt with it, didn't faint. But uh, yeah, it was a uh, man. I can't explain it, man. It's like when you see a baby being born, it's almost like godly. It's like I can't explain it. Like it's like holy experience but anyways probably the second is uh my dancing days i miss my dancing days that's when i was really happy i miss my old friends well i mean i'm happy i was happy doing other things but you know i was also happy when i was around you know a lot of positive people people that i considered really good 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 you know but uh yeah i guess that's it it's not a car, it's an iron horse with a drinking problem. Uh, K-Rose. Uh, I volunteered my time at San Andreas Nursery well, yeah, I mean. they threatened to call the police. I had, um, I had two friends in the past when, we, when I lived in Paris, Texas. Their names were Adrian and Terry. They were, they were brothers, basically, and, um, I'm trying to create a visual for you guys. And uh, they were cool as hell, and we break dance together, and good times, man. Going to the movies, seeing Purple Rain for the first time, seeing B Street, um, you know, all those good movies. Oh, yeah. I think men are good at, like, for example, like, um... You guys can't tell because I'm I'm just I'm just kind of putting up a front and, and I'm in a lot of pain right now. But I mean that's what I get for abusing my body. But it is what it is. Uh, until I get that next surgery, I mean you know. But like I can take I could take a lot of severe pain and nerve pain, whereas women could take internal pain. Like for example, I could take like you know my arm broke or like severe nerve pain or you know what I mean like arthritis or. Whereas, my girl could probably take, you know, internal bleeding or being pregnant. You know what I mean? It's a little different for women. I think they could... Like me, shoot, if I get cramps, like, I'm like, oh, crap. Oh, hell. Like, I'm, I just... Like, oh, no. I, I just lose it. Like, I have a lot of respect for women to some degree. I mean, I wouldn't say all, but they go through a lot of bull crap, man. I tell you what, sometimes they have to raise kids and it ain't easy, man. And uh, it ain't easy to take care of kids. It ain't easy if you're a single parent. And it's hard, man. So I got a lot of respect for, uh, you know. And it doesn't matter if you're good or bad, blah, blah, blah. I have a lot of respect for people that are, you know, taking care of business. And they don't need a man. Like, I respect that, you know. They're holding up the fort, you know. And uh, sadly, uh, you know, a lot of men nowadays or kids or teens... They don't, they don't really, uh, they're still growing, you know, and they're probably not ready for relationships. Okay, I took that one. I got him, I got him. I got him. Let's get this guy right here real quick.
Allez, hop. Can't stand that guy. Uh, tense, it's one way to break your body. No, I think I messed up my body. Um, I think it started in high school. Uh, I was playing football with this, um, with this big Mexican guy. He's about 300 pounds. Big guy. Um, he wasn't like fat. He was like strong, you know. I mean, he was thick, but he wasn't like fat, you know what I mean? But he didn't like me. I mean, I was real good in football, and I was kind of like, I, I played wide receiver, you know. And sometimes I'd run the ball or whatever. A certain way, but uh, like you know, when you're real good in football, people try to hurt you, right? So this guy basically, um, he was trying to kill me. So he uh, he would like he would run, and when he would stick his elbow out and smash his elbow into my throat, and then I would kind of fall down, get myself together, and get back up and keep playing. Now that's what was stupid about me, you know. Hey, who's the gringo? You know, but yeah, man, you gotta take care of yourself. Don't be like the club is. Uh, it's pretty wild when I was young. Extreme sports, I mean, football. Always. Oh no! Dak, damn it! Oh come on! I missed his face. Dak, damn it! Ah, how could I miss his face, son of a nabbit? Dang, freaking nabbit! You guys got to tell me something. How did I miss that? Uh, you guys got me talking. That's okay. I don't care. I changed my name to Little Bo Peep. Ha! <laughs> uh, do you think? Uh, what do I think about what? Uh, I don't know, man. It sounds like a girl's name. I mean, if I was going to give you a name, Supa, I got the name for you. So you get the glasses. You know, you got kind of the, you know, you got you got the thing going, you know. You know what I'm saying. You got the glasses and then you got the, you know, you're slightly thin. And then you got the, you got the, you know, hair's a little longer and your channel the way it is and, you know. I think I got a name for you. Yeah, I know my gear. <laughs> yeah, your conversations are distracting me. It's all good. It's fine. I not post the stream today, so it's all good. I mean, we can get serious. We can get serious uh, Monday. I'm, I'm just, I mean, I'm supposed to be off today, so it's all good. I'm just having fun talking to y'all, so. DJ, you got it? Hey, my cousin just called me. He gave me a tip about a baller's car going to San Piero to score yay. Yeah, I don't really like to do missions Shit. when I'm chatting, but it's all good. It's fine. Those Read your mind, Holmes. I picked them up at the Maholan intersection, Ooh. and I'm trailing them now. Nice looking Asian okay, woman right here. Look Better at that. Fast, Holmes. These boys are hanging around. It's nice looking Asian girl right here. She carries herself well. All right. Yeah, Leon, uh, no Spanish, please. If you can speak English, I mean, your name is English. If you can, bro. If you can, I'm not tripping about it. Tell me, sir. Hmm, which name would I call Supa? Well, I mean, the Doba Supa doesn't kind of make sense. I don't really know what it means. Does it mean soup or... I mean, I guess you can tell me later, but... What name would I call you? Hmm, let me think about this. Let me look at your channel real quick. I mean, you're still growing. That's a good thing. Uh, oh, you didn't put a thumbnail? You didn't, uh, the ending, thank God, of... Oh, you didn't put a lot of thumbnails up on some of your vids, bro. That's okay. Um, uh, channel. I don't know, Supa. I mean, we're a little different. You know, you play different stuff than me. Let me think. Dovakin Supa, what does it mean? Like, okay, so what's your personality? Tell me your personality. If you can express your personality in one word, what what would it be? What would it be? Yeah, that's good. It is. What would it be? What would your personality be if you could express it in one or two words? 
I'll get it this time. Did you buy your license? I think it's cool you could kind of skip a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get in the car. I don't want to get in the freaking car. Oh, my God. Move this son of a something something out of the way. Alright. Tired of playing around. Alright. There you go. How about that right there, huh? Happy trails, lady. Fun outgoing. I talk. There used to be this kid show that my my girl, my little girl watched years ago. Uh, I'm, I'm being so lazy. I said girl, little girl. And uh, it was really a fascinating show. It had these like the show was called Mr. Men, right? And um, it would have like uh, Miss. They would have names like Mr. Nice, Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Sad. Like it was. It'd be like a simple name, but it went with the the cartoon. You know what I mean? So I need to pick you like something like that. Let me think. What kind of Mr. Men character are you? Mm. Give Give me a second, Sue. I got, I got a good idea. Let me think about it. I don't think you guys ever seen the Mr. Men show, but it was pretty good. Yeah, it was called Mr. Men. Okay, let's see. Yeah, is he saying something good, Supa? I just know a little Spanish. Okay. He says, why not go and talk Take care of my cal Calyx. What the heck is a Calyx? What's a Calyx? Um. Hold on. But anyways, I don't think you're going to change your name anyway, are you? I mean, if even if I told you what name would be good for your channel, I don't think you would change your name. I don't know. What do you think? Yes, I said I look crazy. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't tell you because. I, mean, I don't think you'd change your name, to be honest with you. All right, there we go. Shermhead, this business is bigger than any gang is. Uh, Rider, little bitch. Trick for catching squirrels. Roast Street. This guy take himself real serious. That's you gotta get this time. Head. No excuses, baby. What now? Is that it? Right. The next. I don't like the look of it's Spanish slang, sir. Oh, okay. This more than a few thugs push yeah, my girl's a uh, serious organization. My girl knows Spanish really good. How many of these clowns are there? Ah, uh, I know a pit when I see one. They being clever about this. It ain't no exchange and nothing incriminate. Let's do it, bye bye. Hmm, let me think. Hold on, I got an A for you. That was some heavy shit. We better split up and get out of here. I'll meet you back at the garage, eh? Coolio, we got what we came for anyway. Use your cameras, blah, blah, blah. All right, let me go find the save point real quick. There's one right here. Bada bang, bada boom. Take this car. All right, hold on. Got it.
I got a bike, cool. About time. Uh, a cow leg is a cow. Okay, my bad. Oh, I haven't played that game in freaking years. I even forgot what the game's like. Crap, that's a drop off right there. Don't let your babies grow up to be ah, screw it, I'll do it. Alright, here goes nothing. Wait, maybe I can go down over here. Hold on. Oh, okay. I'll just go down here. A cowboy loves smoky old cool rooms and clear mountain morning. Little warm puppies and children, girls of the All right, Element, thanks for coming, man. Much love, bro. Appreciate it. Have a fresh day, man. Stay groovy, man. Them that don't know him won't like him, and them that do sometimes won't know how to take him. He ain't wrong, he's just different. Yeah, this music makes him want to live in the freaking country. Like, I heard living in the country is kind of good because it's all quiet and, you know. You don't have to worry about the neighbors. That's one thing I say about the country. You don't have to worry about the neighbors being loud. You can stream, you know what I mean? People don't yell at each other over there. Well, I mean, there's a few bar fights, but I mean. You know, after you've had your heart broken a thousand times, you get stronger. Then you start to fight back. That's what I did. Mama. Coming in, so oh, be careful crap. out there. Anything could happen, especially in a bar with seven sailors, one pool table, and 15 kinds of group. Oh, the farmer, yeah, yeah, I feel Eddie Rabbit up next, people. This song you want to change your name? Oh, I man, well, I could help Columbia, you out with the name if you want. What kind of food? What's your favorite food, uh, Doba? What's your favorite food? Yeah, maybe you could call your name like Mr. Nice Guy or like, I don't know, something kind of creative and different, you know? I hate the rain, man. Oh, I can't stand the rain. <laughs> It's always a bad day when it rains. Sunny day, cause I love a rainy night. Yeah, I love a rainy night. Uh, let me go this way. Well, I love a rainy night. I hear some well, Patsy Cline, man. Ooh, ooh. I love a rainy night. I love a rainy night. What a sake. Hmm. Uh, well, so here's the thing: you have to you have to name your name after your personality. Like like Clubhead is, well, Clubhead is like Clubhead really means the golf club, the head of a golf club, like hard. And sometimes I could be hard headed. That's why I say Clubhead. I'm very hard headed. I could be nice, but you know what I mean. So you have to you have to give you a name in in terms of your personality or the food you like or you know, you just have to get creative. That's what I did. But I thought about my name for like a whole week. So, yeah, I, I put some deep thought into it, you know. I mean, I think Dova Ken Soup is a good name, but I don't really understand what it means, but, um, you know. Yeah, 
this game sucks. Ah, this game sucks. Mm. Do you know this game won several awards? Mm. Do your research, James. And to think that your name is in the Bible. Oh, it's quite a shame. I'm sure God would be very proud of you. Let's see how many people are actually streaming it. Let me go to YouTube Gaming and see. I saw a guy actually streaming the game yesterday and he had 30,000 subscribers. Uh, ooh, I went the wrong way, my bad. Let me, let me go back. Let's see how many people are streaming it. No, that's not where I want to go. Let's go here. Um, show games. I think James doesn't understand that people play what they want and if you don't like it you can leave the stream it's that simple alright now where's it at where's it at rumba band man open the burn shoulder man they had some uh, classic rock some really good music in the uh, in the Avengers movie I promised myself I want to stop Yeah, there's a lot of people streaming it. They're usually like 20, 20 something or 30 stream, uh, streamers streaming it. Uh, sometimes 40 or 50. It just, it just depends on the day. But yeah, there are people streaming it. What's the top viewed streams? I mean, well, Fortnite's always one of them. Minecraft and uh, Player Unknown. So those are the top three. Uh, the, the GTA, GTA 5 is not even at the top of the list. So, I mean, that's not surprising. Give me a second, I gotta pull up. Dang, damn it. I was trying to look at his channel. Oh well. But I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna blow your mind, James. And if I'm lying, may God strike me down, and he's not gonna do that because. I wouldn't ever be so stupid as to lie, but I promised myself I would, be, I would be positive. So check this out. I know you're still watching because you have no life. I've already surmised that. And uh, I've already surmised that you're quite insecure and probably don't have a life. That's why you feel like you can break me, but the reality is I'm a Scorpio. I can't be broken. Uh, I had the fear of God in me, and I really don't care what no one says. So you're wasting your time. Now let me get to the point where I was trying to say, uh, and also your channel looks like crap, man. Come on, seriously. Um, hold on, give me a second. I stream uh, this game. On oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up, donkey? Is there a freak? How the hell did a fly get in here? Oh, I'm about to lose it. Hold on. Um, why is my girl? Hold on. I'm going to stop going to bingo for a while. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I got to text my girl. Hold on, give me a second. All right, sorry. This is rough, man. I got my girl texting me. Music fans, if we don't like people telling us yeah, so get to back point. What I was trying to say is to educate James is uh, this game has won several awards. And uh, I could go on and on how many awards it's won. Um, but just like people tell me The Last of Us sucks and it's won over 100 awards. So to do. First they take I go by facts, not opinions. And that's a fact. Then my battery 
don't love machine. It takes quarters. See it in my eyes, yeah. Yeah, this game has won several awards. And guess what? Here's a shocker, guys. You know how much I suck? You know how much these games suck? I'm going to tell you how much I suck. I had a guy raid me a few months ago. He had 80,000 subscribers. 80,000! I was playing Terraria. He raided my channel. Why he picked my channel, I have no damn idea. Did my channel have more subscribers? Nope. The others had more. There was something about me. He picked me. He had 80,000. He had over 80,000 subscribers and uh, his name is Luke Games so yeah so that's how much I suck and that's how much my games suck 80,000 subscribers trust me I chewed on that quite a while when I saw it kinda blew my mind 80,000 subscribers rated my freaking channel jeez 80,000 He's nice as this 40 and 23 year old man. He is nice. 23 year old man? Who's 23 year old man? Uh, I was wondering if I could unban him. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Samurai Gamer was banned here. Here? He had someone ban him from the reason, and he is one of my new mods. So I was wondering if I could unban him. I mean, you unmodded me. I don't know who he is. Are you talking about when I was a mod? I don't understand what you're saying. No, for all of you people that don't know, um, I guess I shouldn't be talking to y'all. I'd talk to Supa. Uh, I was a mod in Supa's channel, and I'm glad he kind of went the route he did, because I just didn't have time to be mod. So, um, the only time I got pissed at, uh, my problem with, with his channel and the mods was, is that they weren't respecting him. They were taking over the stream, and they weren't respecting the mods. Like, like if a mod made a decision, I didn't say, hey, why are you doing that, blah, blah, blah. I felt like that every time I went to Super Stream, these moderators were just joking around. It was like, oh, it's Fiesta Day. Let's, you know, it's like, you know, and uh, and I just got pissed because I was like, do these guys even respect Super? You know, so I was the only one blocking, you know, because I was the only one doing the work. Everybody else was just goofing off, you know. So, but I mean, it's Super Stream. I mean, you know, it's all good. No, here, sir. Uh, I don't remember. Now, uh, uh, hey, Samurai Gamer was banned here. He said someone banned him for no reason. Oh, uh, tell him to come on my channel, okay? Can you do that? One of the leads were banned here. Uh, the only time I ban people is when they cuss me out or, or basically insult me. Um, you might have to ask him if he did that. Uh, it's possible I made a mistake and pushed the wrong thing, but. I don't usually make a mistake, but ask him if he uh, insulted me. You would have to ask him if he insulted me, because you know how I am, Super. I mean, I mean, you can't expect everybody to like. Me. I don't remember him coming on my channel, Samurai. I don't remember a guy named Samurai coming on my channel. Yeah, well, have him come on my channel, and I'll check his channel out. I don't remember. I would have to see his channel. And I'll have to check it out later. I, I don't know. I don't remember. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, but I only, I only block people if... I mean, I don't mind if people hate me. That's not a problem. But I only block people that are acting stupid. Like saying stupid things. But the hating, I, I don't know. That doesn't bother me. Oh, did you see my video, Supa, about that, that streamer that said that Conqueror's Bad Fur Day was rated G? And all his moderators in the chat were saying, No, it's rated G. Conqueror's Bad Fur Day is rated G. I was like, Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Where's Catalina? I have no damn idea. I don't want to do this bullcrap. Good message. Okay. Let's do it. Why do I have to do this crap? Oh, I could get a thousand bucks, babe. Let's go. Oh, crap. 
crap. Man, that's some bad misspelling right there. Okay, judging, I'm going to surmise by the exclamation points here, saying bad stuff, so I'm going to block that. Yeah, yeah, the guy was like, I think his, what was his name? His channel was, uh, I think he had 5,000 subscribers, but he was streaming like for four years. I was like, four years? You only got 5,000 subscribers? You've been streaming for four years? Mm. Nah. I mean, he seemed like a nice guy, but like he was like, well, he did take up for me though. He told the chat to chill, but you know, I'll, you know, I, I, you could tell he had a lot of kids in the chat. No, it's rated G. I'm telling you, you're wrong, clubhead. It's rated G. Conquer's bad for a day in rated G. Come on, man. I bought the game when it came out. Oh, you must have got a different copy. It must be a bootleg, clubhead. You don't know what you're talking about. It's rated G. I'm telling you. I'm for sure. <laughs> Check them. I've never argued with uh, with an adult when I was a kid. Never. These kids nowadays. Heck, <laughs> nab it. Okay, hold on. And in the smoking and now 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 now. Let's make this delivery. I need that thousand, baby. Got it. I got that thousand bucks, baby. Grove Street. Yeah, this guy was like, he was all serious. Like, I mean, he wasn't angry, but he's like, no, it's rated G, man. It's rated G. And like the whole chat was like arguing with me. And I was just making a comment. <laughs> and I was like, man, you guys are freaking idiots. And then somebody else, I saw a guy on Twitter, and I mean, I, I had to leave a comment because it was hilarious. I mean, I, I didn't say nothing bad, but he was like, he was like, Ninja is the most popular YouTuber in the world. He is the most popular YouTuber ever. He is the most popular. And you know how hard I laughed? Ninja's the most popular YouTube? What are you, stupid? <laughs> Pootie Pie has over 60 million subscribers. He's the king of YouTube. No, Ninja is the most popular of all the world in YouTube. <laughs> you gotta be out your damn mind. Man, that boy's smoking that good stuff. Give me some of that. <laughs> Give me some of that stuff, Dagnabbit. Man, I want some of that good stuff. <laughs> Uh, the game was banned in certain countries and has been true. I mean, it's, po it's possible there was, uh, you know, I mean, it could have been like a, a copy made or, but I doubt it. Summer again chat because he is banned. Uh, I'll check him out. His name is Summer. Okay, I'll check it out after, after the stream, uh, Super. I might have accidentally banned him, but if he didn't do nothing, tell him I said sorry. I don't know why he came to my stream if he's on your stream, but okay. I'll check him out. Now, Ninja's on Twitch, and um, I'm going to tell you why I respect Ninja, and I'm going to tell you why I don't. I know that sounds dumb, but let me explain. Ninja has busted his butt. He's worked real hard, especially as young as he is, and it took him quite a while. Um, I don't like Twitch because, ironically enough, a lot of famous YouTubers have said bad things about Twitch. They said it's... It's hard as hell to even grow on, on Twitch, and but there's nothing wrong with Twitch. But you got to respect Ninja for what he's did. He's got a good following. I have nothing against the dude. He seems like a nice guy, but um, my issue with Ninja is, in a sense, I feel like he sold out because he plays the same thing over and over, and he's basically drove Fortnite into the ground. Like, like what is he gonna play after that? Like, what is he gonna play? Like the the most popular shooter when it comes out, uh, you know. I mean, but it is what it is, and you know, that's what he plays. He plays the same thing over and over, and I just, I don't know how, you know. To me, it just feels like, 
I don't even know if the dude's selling out, but you know what I mean? You play the same thing over and over just to get subs. Come on now. Uh, this game that I'm playing, this is a requested game. I don't really want to play it all the time. You know? I mean, if I had my choice, I wouldn't play this game. But it's a requested game, you know? Yeah, ninjas on Twitch. But you gotta respect the, the dude for his work ethic. I respect him for that, but... I mean, the guy... The guy is basically playing a game. He's, 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 he's basically sucking the life out of Fortnite until he can get as many subs as he can, and he's did it. But the game got bad reviews. I mean, like, it's not a great game. And I know you guys are going to argue me, oh, it's a great game. But it's just not a great game. How could it be a great game? It's not a car. It's an iron horse with a drinking yeah. Like it totally got bad reviews. Uh, totally. Oh. Oh. Excuse me, this is a supermarket. Gamer ranks, IGN gave it a 6.5. GameSpot, I can go on and on and on. Like all these famous YouTubers gave it bad reviews. You know, and I just I'm just not into it, you know. I'm just not into it. Well, I mean, if people like it, it's all good, you know. The renegade man goes where he wants for the smell of an individual. The people like what they want, man. It, it is what it is, you know. Or instead of renegade, try sweat. The cologne for the animal inside. Oh crap! What time is it? What time is it? Because nothing attracts women Give me a second. like a sweaty man. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it seems like it's just a sellout, but I mean, he's a nice guy, I mean. I don't know, I mean. He doesn't seem like a bad dude, I mean, you know. But that's what he chose, I mean, you know. He chose to play the same game over and over, and you know, I don't know. That's his thing, you know. I just, I don't like, I don't like to watch him because of that. I think if he played other games... Like, if he played, like, horror or, you know, if he played something else, I might watch him, but, you know, just not into it. You know what I mean? All the, uh, all the famous YouTubers, if you look at Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, Boogie2988, uh, some of the top dogs, they don't play the same stuff over and over. Um, now I have a few requested games that I play a lot, which I really don't want to play. But like I said, they're requested, you know. I prefer to play different kinds of games, you know. I need to get the hell out of here. What station? Country station. I'm looking for a damn motorcycle. Oh, here we go. Ah, missed it. Oh. We can call soup of Margaritaville. Wish I'd had a way of knowing. I always wanted one of these campers, man. They're so freaking cool. Well, that's a classic country, man. Woo! That's the kind of country that uh makes you think about your life, baby. Makes it hard to face tomorrow. Cause I know I wake up wanting you again. This guy's this guy's like, this game sucks, so what? But never touching you. Pop music sucks, what's the point you're trying to make? Sometimes hurts me almost more than I can stand. Like, uh, people crack me up the way they think, like, they think you're going to stop a stream because they don't like it. Like, who gives a damn? I could care less. Like, if those people are jealous, that's their damn problem. I care less, I'm the club. I'm gonna sleep good tonight too. Always wanting you, but Myrtle 
it on K Rose. Okay, what's He's up, man? How you doing? How you doing, baby? How's it going? I know a lot about heartbreak. Uh, uh, As you get older, oh, it gets easier. Oh, Trust me. Oh crap. Small in the saddle? Here's some tunes to whistle on a lonely night. I don't really like country, but I like classic country. But like regular pop country, I don't really listen to, you know. Rock with Tommy on. Yeah. I like all kinds of music. Let me grab. Let me grab this real quick. Oh yeah. Cold blooded. Oh yeah. Sex a mom. Oh, the balance on this car. Oof. Yeah, let's do it. Let's jump on the next. I probably got a few more left in me. When am I going to see Tim Penny? Hey man, you get them flicks developed. What's up, Woozy? Hey, Carl. I was just What's explaining up, to your brother-in-law that we were friends. Oh yeah? Well look, Woozy, I need to get some info from you, man. What exactly do you boys want to know? Who are these putas, Holmes? <laughs> Why don't you go take a look? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they're the loco syndicate. They're pretty big time, yeah. I think. Night of the Flames. What's up, man? How you doing, you bud? How are you doing? Now this guy runs things. I don't know his name. Oh, this I hate that damn Steve pimp. Mendez. He's the muscle. I hate him. Now who's that guy? That's Jizzy B. I can't wait He's to the kill him. Pimp in town. He helps set up the deals. It's you know, a Concierge. Of hey, hey, did he my way in? How I get to yeah, the Knights of the oh, Flames. What's up, man? Jizzy runs the Pleasure Domes Club in that old fortress under the Gamp Bridge. Hey, good looking out, Woozy. No problem. Don't be a stranger. All right. Look at Woozy. That's class, baby. That's class. Always dress nice. Nice looking ladies around him dressing nice. Class. I've always preferred Mafia over Gangster because they dress better, you know? Alright, alright, whatever, whatever. What we got? Oh, okay, we gotta go to the market. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Can I get a good song? Ooh, nice. What's up, girl? Let me see what this girl does. Hold on. I always like to test the game. Let me see what happens. Oh, playing hard to get, huh? Yeah. All right. Oh, get out of here. You touching my car, sucker. What the frickin'? I'll tell you what, you know what? Give me that frickin' bike. Oh, I see. 
She probably already snagged the guy with a big wallet. Uh huh. She don't want no bad boy. Oh, come on, you freaking... Oh, that's it. Wait, 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 wait. You get the special today. Freaking jerk. Freaking jerk. Get out of the freaking car. Never hit my car again. Two stars, not bad. Whoop! Oh, officer, can't you see I'm trying to talk to people? Sucker. Don't hide in the bathroom. Show your stash for everyone, baby. This is the party. This is the party. The party. I ain't been dying. Mm, Freaking coppers. You never catch me, copper. Go meet this ghetto pimp. Stupid pimp with a bad grammar. Can't even talk right. Why he talk like this? Why he talk like this? I don't understand. Jizzy. Why he talk like this? Why? I don't understand why he talk like this. What's his problem, man? Freaking Jizzy. Can't wait to kill this bastard. Smoke a low. Smoke a low. What's up, man? How's it going? It's all about you, player. I heard you was the man with the hookup. Mm -hmm. He's the man I needed to see. I'm offering my services. Say what? Yes, sir. See, I'm new in town. Anything you want, I can do. Yeah, graphics is pretty good for an old for game. A guy like me to work with, to work for a guy like Jizzy B. Jizzy, well, screw Jizzy. I do have a slight problem. Something a little dumb muscle like yourself might be able to fix. Uh, Smoko, I don't care about dislikes. YouTube doesn't recognize that. Dislikes are good. That means I get more views, man. It's a good thing, man. Besides, I already told people to technically do that, so it's all good. Hey! See, I only got two eyes, and in these streets, you got to have more than that. You got to be like a flying shit, you know? A hundred eyes everywhere. Now, some lunatic been fucking with my bitches. Motherfucker killed two last week. I want you to go find out. No problem. You're my player partner now, Jizzy. Wait up! Mr. C to the J! See that pretty young thing in my car? Drop her off at the hotel now. Yeah, my I think my girl's gonna do the wash, so it might get a little loud, so be ready. I might have to turn on the mic whenever. Shut up. I can't stand that pimp. Oh man. We what a strong bitch. Oh. Every head half and half with us to steal like Shut up, girl. I'm just trying to ride you to wherever the hell you gotta go. I'm listening. I'm no slug, but I'm Skanky girl. Uh-huh. Real interesting. Whatever, people. Uh, that girl's a true skank. Skanky wanky. Screw you guys. I ain't going to jail. I'm a rebel, baby. Woohoo! Your hoes are bitches. You a buster. What are you? I, I, I'm a buster. I'm a buster. What, whatever that is. Hold you low, baby. Don't diss my scrap. I love your scrap. You're a great guy. Look, I'm a little I'm just coming down off the edge. Oh, no, heck no. Relax. No more getting dumped on. I'm a warrior poet. I tell a caution every tale 
tell about life on the streets, you know? Only too well. Mm. Uh, no. That was OG Loke. Hey man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with the music. We'll make a killing. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get to take some callers like I want. If WCTR wasn't holding Man, what time back. is it, man? Man, this has been entertaining America. Oh, is this that, is this that preacher one? Hey, Jizzy, it's Carl. I just dropped off your girl. Check. Got a little air for you to remember before you deal with that problem I was just talking about. Dude, this probably been sucks so bad. He does not put the channels into the original. No, that's not true, Dubba. I see my vids up all the time. So, Dovey, you're basically saying that Pootie Pie, Jacksepticeye, uh, Mark Laplier, Boogie2988, some of the top dogs on YouTube, most famous streamers, are lying when they say likes don't matter. Trust me, dude. I mean, likes and dislikes, like, you have to understand, man, um, YouTube looks at the view count. They don't care about all that. Oh, I, he hates him and I hate him and they could care less, dude. Like, I'm telling you what I've heard famous YouTubers say. I've literally heard them say that. It's not something I'm making up. Yeah. So, how come Pootie Pie gets 5,000 dislikes, but he gets 500,000 likes? And he's still getting subs at the freaking butt. Like, I don't, I don't think that... Come on, man. Hold on, I gotta go. Like, if, if a rock star gets bad publicity, it just makes him more popular. You know what I mean? It doesn't hurt him. Get the freaking hell out of the way. Freaking cops. Oh, I hate these damn cops. Get your freaking copper. Oh, I hate this damn car. Look at this car. Get out of the way! Especially when I help them unionize. Uh, do you have a question? Sort of. Hey, you know, I got the same name as you. All right, let me do it. Let me do it. Oh, it's a family name. No, Mary. Heck, son of a nabbit. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, I've, I've never, I've never heard a famous YouTuber ever talk about that. Like, they could care less. I mean, pff, even freaking Ninja, he doesn't care. Like, like you guys worry too much. Like. You remember when you remember when Britney Spears got bad publicity? That made her more famous. Like, um, yeah, man. I I can't explain it, but people that get bad notoriety. I'm so tired. I can't even talk right. They t people that uh, get a bad reputation. They tend to uh, get more popular. It's just the way it is, you know. Oh yeah, nice. Rector Bunhole. What's wrong with YouTube? You remember Chef? Yeah, I mean look at uh what's that what's that what's that what's that kid that sings pop music and he's got tattoos on his arm now? Uh what's his name? Um I don't like him, but what's his name? I can't remember. I am a hundred that I took Play and now you in real trouble. I ain't got time for you. Get over Grove Street. All right, all right, whatever. Hey, it's CJ. Just to let you know, you don't have to worry about no competition in Hashbury. Worry? Did I say I was worried? No. I no, she she shaved her head to prove a point and make a point. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like. I want you to get your ass up there. It's like, you know, do I like Chris Brown? No. Do I think his music sucks? Well, I mean, you know, I'm not trying to be rude, but. Guys, I'm into like rock music and metal and punk and. I mean, I do like. I do like country and R&B and other stuff, but I tend to like the classic stuff, you know, but. The point I'm trying to make is. It doesn't matter if you like Chris Brown. He's popular. I mean, you know what I mean? 
Just got to deal with it. I mean, what's that white kid's name? I, I can't remember his name. That that one white kid that's real popular. Uh, what's his name? Well, he's famous actually. Oh crap! I forgot his name. I can't remember his name. Sons of biscuits. Get out my whip, fool. Man, I can't believe I forgot his name. Like uh heck damn it, hold on a second. And like for example, a lot of people don't like Eminem's lyrics, but I mean, it makes him popular. I mean, you know, like people do things for a reason. Like, let me give you an example. Like Logan Paul, I'm mean, I don't like Logan Paul, but he's not stupid. He knows what he's doing. He knows he's being stupid. He knows he's getting views. I mean, you know, that's what works. People do what work, you know? I mean, some streamers are a-holes. It, it works for the channel. I mean, some streamers are nice guys. I mean, just whatever. Whatever works, you know? I don't know. That's what you do. Uh, Eminem is a legend. Uh, no, he's not. Do you have any idea how long it takes to enter the legend category? <laughs> you got to work at least 30 or 40 years, dude. He's not a legend. There's only one rapper that's considered a legend, if you don't believe me, look it up. That's Melly Mel. He's the one that uh, paved the way for rap music and brought it into the mainstream. Melly Mel is a legend. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen him on Beat Street. He did famous songs like White Lines. He did the song The Message. Uh, uh, he was real good friends with uh, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. And Yeah, Melly Mel's a real legend. But... Uh, no, Eminem's not. And uh, Eminem's a pretty good rapper. I mean, I I like some of his songs on all of his songs. I'm going to kill him, I like the songs where he raps about life, but uh, no, he hasn't hit legend status yet. No way. That takes time. It took uh, Mark Hamill to be considered a legend. He had to do the whole Star Wars thing for 40 years, and he got a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You can't just you should, you know what I'm saying? You you can't hit that in like 10 years or something. That, that, that takes time, you know what I mean? It takes time. We're talking 30 years. Uh, man, legends are like... Legends are like Beastie Boys. Uh, Run DMC. Uh, I mean, Beastie Boys moved up pretty fast in the ranks. But this is because they were different. Elvis, Michael Jackson, The Beatles... David Bowie, like I could go on and on. James Brown, like these are people that are considered legends, you know. They've uh, they've they've been in the game like uh, 30 years or whatever, you know what I mean? So yeah, Dr. Dre is a legend. Dr. Dre is a little different. Um, if you really want to get if you really want to get serious, the greatest DJ ever is uh, Grandmaster Flash. That's a fact. Matter of fact, I saw a show one time where Jam Master J, RIP Jam Master J, who was one of the best DJs in the world, gave a shout out to Grandmaster Flash, and, it's, and uh, he said on this TV show, it was, if it wasn't for um, Grandmaster Flash, he wouldn't even be where he's at. So yeah, Grandmaster Flash really paved the way for DJs, you know, big time. Like this cat's this cat was doing it in the seventies, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's Slick Rick. Slick Rick is awesome. Curtis Blow, um, Yeah, Melly Mel. 
Melly Mel was like, I can't explain what I'm trying to say. How can I explain it? He was kind of prolific. He was a cunning linguist. His his uh his rap was sharp and to the point. It it, it hits you in the heart. He rapped about life and like I can't explain it. Like it's it's totally different. You know, it's like his music made you think. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. There's so many legends. Um, some people say that Johnny Rotten from the Sex Pistols is is a legend. The greatest punk rock band that ever lived. I mean, everybody's got their own opinions, but I mean, yeah, to hit that legend status, you got to be in the game for at least 30 years or 40. I mean, that you don't get that in 10 years, trust me, or 20. You got to be in the game a while, a good while. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, if you don't believe me, uh. After I'm done with the stream, which I'm going to be in a minute, go on YouTube and look up Melly Mel. He actually is sitting on top of a roof, and he's talking about the generation of rappers, how it's going downhill. This is what the guy that paved the way for rap, Melly Mel, he said that rap is going downhill. It's not what it used to be. Now it's all about cars and girls. and um, You know, we joke around on YouTube, I know, but I mean, this is him saying it, not me. You know, so, you know. Get the... It's like any, any rock or metal band would tell you, who started rock? Well, blues, really. I mean, rock originated from blues, you know? B.B. King and all those greats. Uh, rock music kind of kind of came from blues, you know? If there were no blues singers around, there wouldn't be no damn rock music. I mean, it's sort of evolved, but, you know. Um, even Metallica, I'll tell you that. Freaking, freaking idiot. What time is it? I approve rap 79, 2007. Yeah. The news and all the other things that really I don't know. Like people dying. These kids don't want to educate themselves nowadays. Let me watch this real quick again one more time. Get it, bye bye. I wonder, I was thinking about maybe doing a short stream tonight. Thinking about doing it. So I guess I spent a little time with my girl. I always love you. Hold on, crap. I, guess. I think every, every genre has a legend. Um, country music, Loretta Lynn, uh, Merle Haggard. You dirty bastard. Yeah, I mean, Elvis, Beatles, um, Hank Williams. I, you, I mean, you can go on and on. Roy Orbison. Uh, you know. Buddy Holly. I mean, you can go on and on and on with all the legends that are considered legends because they made a mark in, uh, in terms of what they're doing. Yeah, there's too many of them, man. There's too many to count. Too freaking many. Shoot. That'd take all night trying to say all their names. Rolling Stones. The freaking Rolling Stones. Legend. Jeez, I could go on and on. I don't need no more friends, baby. Barry White. Marvin Gaye. I heard you was the man with the hookup. And you was the man I needed to see. Otis Redding. Jeez, I could go on and on. It's too many, man. Too many to count. Yes, sir. See, I'm new in town. Anything you want, I can do. For a guy like me to work with... To work for... A guy like Jesse B? Well, now that you mention it, I do have a slight problem. Something a little dumb muscle like yourself might be able to fix. Because you see me... 
I'm in yeah, man, there's too many legends out there to count. It'd take forever. Walk on down to the bar, fix a pimp drink. Screw this guy. I can't wait to mm -hmm. kill him. I only got two eyes, and in these streets, you got to have more than that. You got to be like a flying shit, you know? A hundred eyes everywhere. Now, some lunatic been fucking with my bitches. My fucking killed two last week. This guy's freaking crazy. Go find out. This guy's lost his freaking mind. You're my player partner now, Jizzy. Look at this girl. <laughs> To the Might have stopped real quick. Thing in my car. Drop off at the hotel downtown. Use my car phone and give me a ring a ding when you're done. And watch the rims, player. Treat that baby like the Pope Mobile. Pope Mobile, you freaking idiot. <laughs> oh, I can't shoot him? Okay. Wish I could. That freaking dag nabbit. Um, I don't know, man. I hate this freaking car. Oh, two stars. Come on now. Honestly. Wait, what a strong bitch. Oh. Ever had half and half with a social like me? Yeah, go on. I'll do things your ruka won't. Oh, I ain't trying to catch no disease, girl. I can bet you that. Uh -huh. Oh man, my song went off. Public enemy. I'm crazy. Oh, can't play that song, I get blocked. Man, that song brings back memories. Hey Mario, will you do me a favor? I want you to get some subscribers. That would impress me, bro. Dude, at least put a picture. Like, are you afraid to put a profile pick up? I guess he's afraid. Chicken. I ain't hating, I'm telling you like it is. You have put a freaking profile pick up, dude. Can't you see I'm testing you, bro? Just go along with the program. I'm trying to see how strong you are, bro. Just testing you, bro. Just testing you. Don't go freaking out on me. I mean, we are playing a gangster game, mafia, so to speak. Give me a break, man. Let's play on words, you know. <laughs> ah, damn, Mario, I'm just messing with you. Calm down. Just messing with you, bro. I'm just messing with you. I gotta get them dance. Oh crap. I can make you dance, make you bump. Mm -mm. Get the heck out of here. Oh. Alright, that's it. I'm out of here. Bada bang, bada boom. Grove Street! Get back in the pit mobile. I'd rather not. I hate this car. 
What's up, KG? Let you know you don't have to worry about no competition in Hashbury. Wary. Did I say I was wary? No, I did not. Man, guy can't take a joke. I'm just messing with you, bro. Chill. Some of my girls in the Fort Valley been getting nuts low. I want you to get your ass up there, nose around. Find out what's going on. Come on, guys. I'm a Scorpio. I'm always testing people. Gee whiz. Too damn serious. Sorry, I forgot to add you. Hey, no worries, no worries. Uh, I'll try to do a stream tonight if I can. I gotta spend some time with my girl, but, uh, um, yeah. Just been busy, you know. I'm thinking about doing a stream tonight, but we'll see, we'll see. Man, I never win at bingo, man. I gotta, I gotta try to win, you know. It's been a while. How you doing, KG? How's your day going? part I remember powder time's over boys <laughs> I almost killed the girl okay <laughs> oh man did she take off without me <laughs> Wow. Why am I guessing she doesn't have a boyfriend? How about I come back to the motel and kill you? How about that? I can't wait to kill that pimp. He's annoying. Try not to think about it. Tropic carcinoma. Give the sun a challenge. Seen it, girl. Seen it. Kill this guy. Man, this is a long damage. I respect the preacher, but this guy's a fake. Let's kill this fake preacher. Freaking fake preacher. Come here, you fake preacher. Oh, I don't have a gun. What? 
Okay, hold on. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. No, oh, I'm gonna kill him. I hate, I hate, I hate fake people. Can't stand fake people. Let's kill that fake right now. I'm gonna kill him. Bam. Let me blow up the other car real quick. <laughs> Time to die, baby. Time to die. See ya, sucker. That was Invoke, right? Invoke? You dirty bastard. Oh, that's it. What the freaking hell? Oh, come on, man. Freaking hell. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Am I stuck? Oh, my gosh. Freaking car. I swear, the next person who hits my car, I'm gonna kill him. Freaking bad. Ah, gnabbits. Did you see that? That car hit me right off the road onto a rock. Wait a minute, is it a rock? No. I don't think so. See you later, oh, okay. It's concrete. Thought it was a rock. Ah, gnabbits. Oh, well. Can't help that. Man, I almost had the little bastard too. I'm playing some for Sir, the cash is leaving Los Santos again. Gonna have to let this one slide, man. Got too much shit on my plate. Yeah, I had to make room for some mods. Uh, I got rid of a few, but um, I don't know. I guess they just don't come around anymore. But I, I have to admit, most of them are in school, and I totally respect that. I actually told them to focus on school. So yeah, but I had to. I rather them be in school than uh, to mod, you know. I never played Overwatch. That hurt was pretty good. Oh boy, that's my song, man.
Hey guys, I got I got to do some I got to do the watch real quick, so I got to stop stream. I don't know if I'm gonna eat something tonight. Uh, I mean now, uh, I might do a stream tonight. Uh, that's if I have time, so be looking out for that. But um, yeah, I need to get this wash done. I gotta help out and do some things. So um, uh, I need to catch up with my weight behind on my missions. Uh -huh. Yep, for sure, for sure. But hey, KG, uh, super, thanks for coming by. Huh? Anyways, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm gonna take a um, take a break for a while. Gotta gotta handle my business, take care of business. So I will see you guys later. Peace, man.